Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel where we delve into the best organic farming techniques. Today we are focusing on organic apple farming, a profitable and sustainable agricultural practice that's gaining popularity worldwide. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's learn how to cultivate organic apples from scratch, ensuring your orchard thrives. When starting your organic apple orchard, location is key. Apples require a specific climate characterized by cold winters and warm summers. Ideally, choose a location with well-draining soil and a pH between 6.0 and 7.0. Sunlight is crucial, so ensure your trees will receive at least 6 hours of direct sunlight daily. Understanding your local climate zone will help you select the best apple varieties for your orchard. Selecting the right apple varieties is crucial for the success of your organic orchard. Choose disease resistant varieties like Honey Crisp, Gala or Fuji, which are not only easier to manage but also popular among consumers. Consider your market whether you are aiming for direct sales, farmers markets or commercial distribution to determine which varieties will be most profitable. Preparing your soil correctly lays the foundation for healthy apple trees. Start by testing the soil to adjust the pH and nutrient levels. Organic matter such as compost is essential to enrich the soil. When planting, space your apple trees about 15 to 20 feet apart to allow for growth and air circulation. The best planting time is during the dormant season for late winter to early spring. Managing pests and disease organically requires proactive strategies implement integrated pest management techniques such as selecting resistant varieties encouraging beneficial insects and using organic sprays like neem oil regularly inspect your trees for signs of disease or pest issues timely pruning and removal of affected areas can prevent the spread of disease Pruning is essential in developing a strong tree structure and promoting healthy growth. Prune during the dormant season, removing dead or overlapping branches to improve air circulation and sunlight exposure. This also helps in reducing disease pressures. Remember, a well-pruned apple tree is a productive apple tree. Fertilizing your apple trees organically ensures they receive the necessary nutrients without chemical inputs. Use organic fertilizers like composted manure, bone meal or seaweed extracts. Apply fertilizer early in the spring and again in the mid-summer to support growth and fruit production. Always follow organic standards to maintain soil health and tree vigor. Efficient water management is vital in organic apple farming. Drip irrigation system deliver water directly to the root zone, reducing waste and preventing leaf diseases. Mulching around the base of the trees help retain moisture, suppresses weeds and add organic matter to the soil as it decomposes. Monitor soil moisture regularly to ensure your trees are getting enough water, especially during dry spells. The right time to harvest apples depends on the variety of local climate. Generally, apples are ready when they are the right color. The flesh is firm and the flavor is fully developed. Use gentle techniques to pick apples to avoid bruising. Harvesting typically starts in the late summer and can go through to late fall, depending on the variety and location. After harvesting, proper handling is crucial to maximize the shelf life and quality of your apples. Sort and grade apples by size and quality. Store them in a cool, humid environment to maintain freshness. For organic apples, it's important to use storage methods that conform to organic standards, avoiding any, any chemical treatments. Congratulations, you have just learned how to start and manage an organic apple orchard. 
we hope this guide inspires you to start your organic apple farming journey if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up share it and leave a comment below with any questions or tips you might have don't forget to subscribe for more organic farming insights happy farming and see you next time